Hi, this is Kanav Abu. This is part 9 of Link to Objects. In this video, we will discuss about how to write the link queries on collections. Before watching this video, you can watch Object Initializer in C Sharp by Kanav Abu and Collection Initializer. That is part 3 and part 4 of Link to SQL. So here I will try to declare one class. The name of the class is Employee and here I will try to declare some properties. Public int e number and I will declare some other property public string e name and I will declare some other properties public int d number department number and I will declare one more property public string d name department name and I will declare one more property public string designation public string designation and here I will declare one more property public double salary these are our different properties that we have declared within the employee class. Now I want to work with uh, generics so I will declare the namespace using system.collections.generic and I want to create one object. So in order to work with link we already know there are three steps. Step number one prepare the data source. Step number two write the query. Step number three execute the query. So here I want to prepare the data source. I want to store the data in the collection. So I will try to use collection initializer. So list employee, generics, what is the difference between collections and generics? Whenever you want to perform operation group of objects of any type, then we will go for collections. And whenever you want to perform operation group of objects of same type, then we will use generics. Now I want to perform operation group of objects. These all objects are of what type? Employee type. So I will go for generics. EMPs is equal to new list employee of. This is your collection initializer. Collection initializer is nothing but group of object initializers. So I will try to create one object. So this is object initializer. Object initializer means initialize the values for the object at the time of uh, initializing the values for the properties at the time of creating the object. So I will try to give e number is equal to 101 and here I will give e name is equal to 1A and here I will try to give salary is equal to 20,000 and here I'll give D number is equal to 10 and here I'll give D name is equal to some EC department and here I'll give designation is equal to something like assistant processor is it clear this is my object initializer object initializer is collection of uh, collection initializer is nothing but group of what object initializer so I'll create uh, uh, some collection here 102, 103, 104, 105 and I will try to modify the values here I will give something like Sunil and here I will give Ajay and here I will give Robert and here I will give Tom and here I will give Tony and here you can see the salaries 20,000, 23,000, 25,000, 27,000 28,000, 30,000, something like this. And here I will change the department number 20. And here also I will give 20. And here I will give some triple E department. And here also I will give some triple E department. Is it clear? So designation I will give here professor. And here also I will give professor. This is my collection. Collection is nothing but uh, group of objects. So these all objects are of what type? Employee type. So I stored all these objects in what? my generic collection that is list collection now I want to write the queries on this collection so here question number one write a query to display employee details I want to display the employee details so I want to display the details in the form of something like table so I will try to write something like console dot write line of e number plus I want to give some tab space slash t plus I want to give e name and then I want to give some tab space and plus I will try to give what salary and I want to give some tab space and then I want to give some D number I want to give some tab space I want to give D name plus tab space plus I want to give designation so if you want you can see press F5 and check the output here you will get the output something like this E number one tab space E name salary D number D name designation so I want to write a query to display the employee details let us see here uh, so here I'll write where q1 is equal to from x in collection. What is my collection name? EMPs. And here I'll try to write select x. 
So we already know collection is nothing but group of objects. This is one object. This is another object. This is another object. So totally six objects are there. These all objects are stored in where collection. That is generic collection. These all objects are of employee type. The name given for the collection is EMPs. Now here you have what E number, E name, salary, designation, department number. This is one object. Now first move next method will move the pointer to the first position. And the first object is stored in where X. Now here X is nothing but what? Object. Which object? First object. Now I want to read the data from the object. So I will try to use for each loop. I want to execute the query for each. For each where item in collection that is Q1. And here I will try to print the values. I will try to use the same. Here I want to print the values in the same format. So I will try to use console.writeline of E number. So instead of E number, item is what? Object. In that object I want to print E number. Item dot E number. And here I will try to give item. Item dot E name. And here I will try to give salary. So I will print item. Item dot salary. And here I'll, I want to print D number. So here I will try to print item dot D number. And here I will try to print D name. So that is object actual. Item is what? Object. In that object I am trying to read the values. And I want to print the designation. So I will try to print item dot designation. Is it clear? Now let us see. Press F5 and check the output. So it will print the values that are available within the collection. This is my first query. Now here I want to write one more query. So here console dot write line of question number 2. Write a query to display employee details. Write a query to display employee details. Um, uh, otherwise employee number comma employee name comma salary. Who are working? Who are working in department number 10? I want to display employee details who are working in department number 10. So I ask you to display only what? Employee number, employee name and what? Salary. So don't display all the things. Employee number, employee name and salary. Is it clear? Now here I will try to write the query where Q2 is equal to from X in EMPs. Where here I told that X is object where X dot D number is equal to 10. And here I will try to write select X. Select what? X. Is it clear? Now here I want to execute the query by using for each loop. So I will try to write for each where item in Q2. And I want to print the values. That is here console dot write line of item dot e number plus I want to give tab space slash t plus and I want to print e name item dot e name plus and I want to print salary item dot salary press f I want to iterate the data from the collection. Is it clear? More query write a query to display employee details whose salary is greater than 20,000. I want to display the employee details whose salary is greater than 20,000 where Q3 is equal to from X in EMPs where X dot salary greater than 20,000 here I will write select X and here I will try to execute the query for each where item in Q3 and I want to print the values. Here you see it will display the employee details whose salary is greater than 20,000 that's it. Is it clear? 20,000 in game. Like that you can write the queries. I'll try to write one more query. Write a query to display. Write a query to display employee details who, who, who are working. Who are working in EC department and whose salary and whose salary is greater than 25,000. Is it clear? Let us see here. So I'll try to write the query where Q4 is equal to from X in from X in EMPs where X dot salary greater than 25,000 and in C sharp uh, end operator can represent by using double ampersand and X dot D name is equal to EC X dot D name is equal to EC select X I'll try to execute the query for each where item in where Q4 and here I want to print the values. I want to print the employee details. Is it clear? I will try to copy this. 
and I want to print the values. Let us see, press F5. How frequently you write the queries by using uh, um, SQL? In a similar manner, you can write the queries by using link also. Similarly, I want to write a query to display employee details in ascending order. In ascending order based on salary. Based on salary. I want to display the employee details in ascending order based on salary. Here I will write where Q5 is equal to from X in collection EMPs um, order by order by x dot salary ascending order by x dot salary ascending select what x order by class is used to arrange the details in ascending order now i want to execute the query for each where item in q5 and here i will try, try to print the values press sub 5 it will display all the employee details in ascending order based on what salary they are in ascending order only if you want to display in descending order here you can mention what descending so it will display in descending order 30 28 27 25 23 and 20 for example if i ask you write a query to display employee details who are working who are working in uh, uh, department number 10 order by order by employee in, uh, order by salary descending if i write like this so you can write the query where q6 is equal to from x in emps from x in emps where from x in emps and here i write what where x dot d number is equal to 10 order by order by x dot uh, salary descending and here you can write select what x here you can use for each loop for each where item in where collection that is q6 print the output press f5 this is how you can write the queries on what collections to perform different types of operation in the next video i will discuss some more uh, queries for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel as well as facebook group thank you have a nice day